Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jamie and you should hit that subscribe button. Today I am doing a video that I've seen going around a lot lately. It's a cool trend um, where you recreate your favorite YouTuber's Instagram posts. I am still in quarantine. I don't know about you guys. What are like the restrictions at your state right now? But Long Island, I am in phase one right now. So we are still kind of locked up. So I think this is such a cool trend because you get to get all this content that you didn't have. <laughs> This video is actually super fun because it is a collab with another cool YouTuber. Her name is Jess and I will link her channel down below as well as you can see it right here on the screen. We picked six YouTubers and we're going to do a photo for each of them. So the YouTubers we picked are Alana Arbucci, Kenzie Elizabeth, Brooke Michio, Aspen Overd, and Remy Ashton. So. I'm super excited and I'm gonna get right into the video. So this video was actually so hard because I like feel like I don't have any clothes and I also needed to pick photos that I could recreate by myself or like just with like one other person. So I picked a lot of selfies and they're actually a lot harder to do than you think they would be. So I picked selfies from Mackenzie Elizabeth, Natalie Barbu, Brick Michio, Lana Arbucci, and then I picked two that I could recreate with my mom. So I picked um, a posed one from Miss Remy Ashton and a posed one from Aspen Overd. And let me tell you, finding a photo for Aspen was so hard because all she posts is with Cove now. And while Cove is extremely cute, I do not have a baby. So it was a little bit tricky, but I found this one from like 2017. So we are thriving. Okay, so I'm in my mom's car right now. Odd. But she has like darker seats and a convertible so like you can see the back of the car. I just like threw this white top on. It's not like perfect because she's wearing like a crew neck top and I didn't have one so we're wearing this one. So she is buckled in the picture. For this one I don't think there was anything really more that I could have done with it it would have been great if I had like the right t-shirt and like actual black seats but I was really happy with the way this one turned out I just wish I had tilted my head a little bit more but overall I think this was one of the best ones okay like I don't know <laughs> to the first one she's like this like yeah but it would be this way. If it's reversed, that means her hand on hip would be this hand. Okay, so I like don't have the unfold preset that Brooke used for the photo, but I'm literally just gonna pop hers into Photoshop and just crop myself over her. So this one is definitely not perfect because I had to like edit myself over her but I think for the most part I got the poses pretty right and this is probably something that I would actually post on my Instagram which isn't something I would say for a lot of the other ones so I am really happy with the way that this one turned out. So I'm basically just like going through this photo now and erasing the background around me of the carrots and like doing that. Okay, so this one definitely did not turn out perfect because her, she had like more of her body in the selfie. I don't know. I couldn't get the selfie right. So I guess I couldn't get the photo right. So like I said, I didn't get the selfie right. I needed to be more over in my selfie. That way it would like fit over the whole screen. 
Also, I don't know what photo of carrot she was using. I like went online and I tried to reverse Google search it, but I couldn't find the background. So I just found this one and I tried to lower the exposure as much as I could. So it would kind of match your carrots, but it's obviously not perfect. But overall, I think this is a pretty funny photo. I don't know why she chose to take a photo with carrots, but I think it made for a funny pic. So like the Kenzie Elizabeth one, this one did not require a lot of editing. However, I could not get her pose. Like I tried so hard, but I think my tongue and my mouth just don't look like that. I don't know, but this one was so hard and honestly took me so long. I tried to do this so many times and this is the best we're getting. So I also don't like the way I look. So I don't think I would ever use this. So this one is definitely going to require a lot of work just because I don't have a plain white background to take it with. So I took the photo and I'm going to use the quick select tool to kind of cut myself out and put myself on a white background. I ended up having to edit out my shoes because since I was sitting in the grass it just like didn't look hot. So we're going to now add the gradient effect. Overall, I really like this one. I think it turned out really cute. My gradient isn't perfect, and obviously it's not perfect because of the color, but I think everything else about this was really good, and this one was really fun to recreate. So this one was really hard to do because in order to get the photo I needed someone to be like standing over me but then it would create a shadow so that is why I'm not perfectly aligned straight with the pool. However I did get the pose right and my outfit is kind of similar to hers so I'm pretty happy with the way that this one turned out. 